All right, so we're going to solve cosine x equals negative 0.61. Now, our first solution is going to come from the inverse cosine, which we can pull out our calculators and come up with 2.22, roughly 7. Probably be good to keep another decimal point, but I'm going to go ahead and write it that way. Now, for our second solution, there's a few ways that we can think about it. Um, and so that's what we're going to focus on here. So what I like to do is start by drawing a unit circle. And imagine that was actually a circle. Uh, now remember that the cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. So we're looking for angles that have a cosine value of negative 0.61. And our first angle that has that cosine value is this one here. And that's the one that we found using our uh, inverse cosine. So there is our first angle. Now our second angle, you can see that's going to have the same cosine value, is this angle down here. And so this is the one that we're looking for, this angle here. And so one way to do that is to notice that this distance is the same as this distance, or angle, sorry. And so that, except it's in the opposite direction. So this is also going to be 2.227. And so we can think of this as all the way around and then backwards by 2.227. So we can think of this as 2 pi all the way around back by minus 2.227. And that will give us the angle 4.056. And that is one way to describe this second solution. Now there's another way to think about it also. Oops, done did a little too much there. Uh, <laughs> there's another way to think about it, and that would be to use the idea of a reference angle. And so reference angle, remember, is the shortest distance to the x-axis, shortest angle to the x-axis, so that would be that there. Um, halfway around is pi, this much is 2.227, so the reference angle would be pi minus 2.227, which is about 0.915. Now, the way that we can use the reference angle is to note that this second solution is going to have the same reference angle, right? So this is also going to be 0.915, and so we can think of this angle here as the angle that we're looking for as pi so remember, halfway around is pi, plus, plus the reference angle, so plus 0.915. And if we calculate that out, it's going to give us exactly the same answer, that 5.056. And so our second solution here is 4.056. Now there's a third way that we could think about it, and that would be by looking at a uh, graph of the function cosine. So let's do that really quick. So cosine, remember, looks something like this. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple cycles here. Remember that, make that 2 pi, and this would be pi, because the one full period of the cosine function is, is 2 pi. And we're looking for, we want the result of the cosine function, so the output of the cosine function to be negative 0.61. And so there are several solutions here. Uh, the first of which is going to be the angle that we came up with using the cosine inverse here, so the 2.227. The second solution is going to be right here. Now, we could use some symmetry here. So notice that, that this distance here is the same as this distance here because the graphs is symmetric. It's the same here as it is here. Uh, and so you could think of this angle as 2 pi is over here and then back by 2.227, which is exactly what the calculation we did here. Alternatively, you could say, again by symmetry, that this distance and this distance are the same. So you could find this distance here by doing pi minus 0.227 and coming up with 0.915 and then add the same amount to come up with the second solution, pi plus 0.915. So both, whether we're using the unit circle graph or 
the function graph, the approaches are the same either way. We're using the symmetries in the same way. Okay, so now that we have our first two solutions, now we need uh, additional solutions. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, so let's see if we can come up with some more solutions now. All right, so the usual way to come up with more solutions is that once we have our two unique solutions on one period, the those are the only two unique angles, unique positions on the unit circle that have that cosine value. Uh, we can find additional solutions by finding coterminal angles. Uh, in other words, we can add a full rotation onto that first angle. So my third solution is going to be the first angle plus a full rotation plus a full period. And we can do the same thing for my second solution. We can add a full rotation to it. So my fourth solution would be this one, my second unique solution plus a full period. Now this question didn't ask us to find more, but if we really wanted more solutions, we could find them the same way. We could start with the 2.227 and instead of adding one full rotation, we could add two full rotations. And we could start with the 4.056 and add two full rotations to get more solutions. Notice you can see that down here on this graph also, this third solution here, it, we're just starting a new period, right? of the same cosine function and so this distance here is going to be the same as this distance here and so this is going to be 2 pi plus the same amount that this was so plus the 2.227 okay and so we can find our solutions using symmetries here uh, and and that's really the way you want to go with it um, let's quickly look at a couple more um, that are unrelated. Let's say we were solving sine x equals, um, let's see, okay, so let's say we were solving sine x equals something or other, and our first solution ended up being like x equals negative 0.3. So again, using sort of a circle approach, we could say, Here's my first angle. My first angle is negative 0.3. Uh, and then we say, what other angle has the same sign? And the other angle with the same sign is over here. So using symmetries, this must also be 0.3. And so this solution here is going to be pi plus 0.3. Now, generally, we don't like negative solutions. Sometimes they're OK. Uh, but if we want a positive solution here, we can take the same approach we just did, add a full rotation. So we could take the negative 0.3 and add a full rotation and come up with the second angle. So notice how we're using the symmetries of the graph to come up with our additional solutions. Now, same idea. Suppose, suppose we were solving cosine of something uh, cosine of x equals something and our first solution ends up being let's say like 0.9 so we're on a unit circle my first solution is the angle 0.9 and now we want another angle with the same cosine so that's going to be down here right and so my second angle with the same cosine will be down here and using symmetries again, we could say this much is 2 pi. Then we're going backwards by the 0.9, right? Because this is 0.9, so this is 0.9. So 2 pi backwards by 0.9 would give me that second solution there. So you'll a lot of the times you'll find it helpful to use either a unit circle graph like we did here or a graph of the function, both of which can be very helpful when you're trying to find your additional solutions.